Tim, we're here on Murray Street in the city. We've just had an amazing little performance by the players. What do you think of that? Yeah, it was great. It's uh, to get out here in, in the middle of the city and uh, you know to see the interest that, that uh, has been gathering here over the past half an hour is great. And uh, a lot of questions being asked, but it's it's all positive and great. So the Western Force is the heart of rugby in WA. We're the only professional rugby union team. How good does it feel to get the opportunity to bring the boys out into the community to do something like this? Yeah, it's very important, and you know, credit credit to our players where they really enjoy doing it and. Uh, where we saw some great gains last year and it's continued on again this year and uh, it is a focus for us to uh, you know to get out and, and, and try and uh, get new people to start following the Western Force and, uh, and Global Rapid Rugby and uh, it started the year started off really well. So talking about the Western Force we played last last week last Friday against Nick Cummins and the World 15 but we've got a game this Friday against the South China Tigers we've got a bit of reshuffling in the team do you want to explain a few of those things? Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, moving into this fixture against uh, South China Tigers, we thought it was an opportunity to, to give uh, or get a bit of a rotation in. And uh, I think after a, you know, a long pre-season period, you've, you've got to give guys an opportunity to play in these first few fixtures to, uh, uh, to put the best foot forward. And um, it's reward to everyone uh, for putting in a, a really good pre-season. So, uh, yeah, some good rotations and guys have played a lot for us last year in Harry Lloyd. Uh, coming into loose head prop, uh, Masavesi coming on the wing after a good uh, performance last week off the bench. Uh, Rodney Owner in at 12. So there's a bit of shuffling there, but we're, we're uh, we, we pride ourselves on uh, how deep we can go in our squad, and uh, I'm sure the guys will play well. Yeah. You touched on Masavesi. So Masavesi is actually up against um, a t player that he played against, wi played with, sorry, um, when he was playing in the Olympics in 2016. How do you think that sort of a matchup is going to go? Yeah, it'd be interesting. And, uh, I think uh, Fijian on Fijian, they, they certainly go, uh, they don't take the foot off the pedal anyway and you know, it's a pretty pretty uh, uh, unique uh, thing and, and, and the good thing about Global Rapid Rugby is we've got two Fijians who won uh, a gold medal together at the Olympics um, you know, coming up against each other and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing that battle because uh, they can both certainly play. Yeah. And we've got Andrew Reddy who's getting his first start for the Western Force, what are you expecting from him? Yeah, Andrew's an experienced player and uh, I think it's, uh, you know, he's got a really good all-round game and uh, he's quite physical. Uh, he likes to carry the ball, uh, very good at set piece. So, yeah, I think we'll just see a really good polished performance from Andrew and um, I know he's looking, really looking forward to his first start. So you played against Hong Kong last year. Are you imagining that the team will be similar in their style of play? Yeah, look, yeah, style of play, it's an unknown. Um, they'll probably look to embrace new laws that are, uh, that are in this year for Global Rapid Rugby and they're, they're a quality team. and. Uh, I think last year when we played them, you saw that that it was, it was quite a, a, a contest there for a good uh, 60 minutes of the game. So they've uh, they've recruited well. They've got some good marquee players. They've got uh, yeah, Tom Vandell on on a wing as well. And um, yeah, we're expecting a, a difficult fixture. Yeah. So with Vandell, uh, obviously he's the, he's the leading try scorer in the Super League over in the UK. How do you go about stopping someone that scored so many tries over his long career? Yeah, he's certainly a threat, and uh, yeah, we paid a little bit of attention there this week towards uh, Vandell, and I think you know defensively you just got to get up in uh, in, in guys in their face and, and take away um, you know the, the space um, that uh, you can't offer guys like that. He's a he's a big body, he's quick, he's skillful, so we'll just get up and uh, apply a lot of pressure on him, and hopefully we get the the you know the outcome that we want there. And you had I think it was 11 and a half k last week. You were expecting a similar crowd to what you got last week? Yeah, let, let's hope so. Uh, that, that was an outstanding uh, turnout for first game of the year and uh, yeah, we let, let, you know, we hope the community's out there again and uh, yeah, we've got a wonderful fan base and Sea of Blue are, are awesome and uh, if we get uh, get around that, if not more this week, then it's a great start to the year. Thank you for your time, Tim.